Are you looking to upgrade your team or make some money selling coins? Check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. They have coins on all platforms and use code Ryan at the checkout for a 10% discount. Yo, what is going on you guys? This is Ryan and Chase back in a Skype call for what seems like forever doing a video. Uh, but we do have Javon Curse in the game. Now, a lot of you guys know that I am a massive Titans fan and this is one of my favorite players of all time. I mean, just based off of what you've seen in the card, Chase, what do you think about this card? Because here's the boss. I yeah, mean... let's check out the attributes real quick. From what everyone was saying, I mean, it looks pretty nice, but block shit is kind of low on it, which makes no sense. Yeah, I mean, for being a speed rusher, I mean, do you... I don't... Block shit, to me, I'm not even really sure how it works. I think it's, like, the ability to break off of a block to try to get, like, a, a run-stop attempt. And Javon Curse was never known to be like a really big run stopper. So the speed, acceleration, and finesse move make him one of the best, uh, I guess, finesse move getting to the quarterback type guy. So I'm not even really sure. True. All I know is having a Javon Curse card is pretty cool. Being a Titans fan, there's not a lot of Ultimate Legend Titans players. So I got to embrace one of them. And I guess if it's got to be one, it's going to be Curse. I would love to see a Steve McNair in the future. I'd love to see a Keith Bullock. But... It's not going to happen. I mean, Chase is spoiled with Ultimate Legend Cowboys every single year. There's like 16 right? of them. I would start out with lower stuff first and build up to the big packs. So she'll go pro packs and then just go all the way around yeah. the line and then open up the last. Uh, exactly. All right. So let's just start with these pro packs. Here we got two pro packs. Not expecting a lot out of the pro packs, but you never know. Pro packs usually sometimes are juiced. So we got ourselves here a Chimdi Check. Well, an Ohio State player. Robert Staples. We're just going to go ahead and fly through these. Keenan Lewis in an NFL draft badge. Open up next pack, which is a pro pack. Uh, I don't want that to say, like, ultimate legend pack. And I screw myself over. Reveal all. And what do we got here? A Jamison Crowder. See, the next thing says Super Bowl legend topper. We're not going to be doing that. So moving over to the veteran pack. What are the best packs that you've opened all year? Because these are, like, all the packs in one right here. Oh, just about. I, I really couldn't tell you. I think the team of the year packs are pretty good. Yeah. There you go. Stephen Anthony, Miles Austin, of course. And a veteran pack. I thought you got two. Yeah, there it is. Okay, Miles Austin was the other gold. All right. Next veteran pack. What can we get here? Tony Lippett, Mike McCarthy. Oh, a Derek Newton. That kind of scared me a little bit. 90 overall. So it's nice to see some elites coming out of these at least. And a Brian especially, Quick. Especially in veteran packs. I know. That's crazy. I mean, I wasn't really expecting a fan of the pro or veteran. All right. So backing out here, we got two of the Aaron Rodgers all pro packs. And I think you get three golds or better in here. So we get ourselves a Dante Fowler. Nice to see him come back this year. Jerry Atacho or Tachu. And we get an Adrian Claiborne. So one more all pro pack. You may not be saying that later about Dante Fowler. <laughs> I mean, the way that Jaguars field is, I don't know. We got ourselves a Shea McClellan, 89 overall. So yet another elite. We pulled an elite. Out of I thought every... that was Martellus Bennett for a minute. <laughs> it does look it's like a, it kind of. It's the same mover. Chicago yeah. to Patriots, too. Yep. It, it definitely does look like Martellus. I'm not even going to like At first glance, I mean, like if you look at it real quick, it's like, oh, shit. All right, so those are the all-pro packs. It's nice to see some elites come out, though, definitely. All Madden packs. These are four or three golds or better with one guaranteed... Is it item program. from a program? Yeah, that's exactly yeah. right. So Kyle Miller. Now that program could be anything. So let's see what it is. Drod Powers. We got Nate Washington, Brandon Browner, and one program player, which is going to be a team of the week, Leonard Hankerson. Let's see what week this was. It's from week, what is this? Week four. So that's kind of cool. The all Madden pack definitely does just give you something completely random. And it does give us a Leonard Hankerson, which unfortunately is not too great but you know we're gonna get better and better things in these packs here cooper Helfit, eli manisey that's a throwback to madden 13 if you guys don't remember that video eli manning mike mitchell and our random program player is gonna be a john brown chapter star so at least something that may have a little bit of value i guess i don't know Fozzy Whitaker in a Ravens home uniform. So let's go ahead and move on. We're starting to get into the good stuff. I think we got Legend Packs now, Game Changers, and then the Ultimate Legend Pack. This is where the good stuff could come out. So here we go. All right, Legend Pack. Let's go from the back. We got Joe Philbin, 
Denard Robinson. Come on, where is that Javon curse? I really would like to see it. We get a Lawrence Taylor 1990 collectible. Gary Barnage. Uh, Austin Severian Jenkins. Corey Lugay or Legit. Legit. However you want to say his name. Corey Luigi and Morgan Burnett. Let's go ahead and move on to the next legend pack. <laughs> Never known how to say his last name. I think it's Legit, to be honest with you. Or Legay. Kenneth Acker. We got Zane Beatles. Ladarius Green, Melvin Ingram, Richard Rogers. What is going to be the legend item in here? And it's going to be a legend badge. Which I guess those are okay to get. And it's better than getting like a random collectible. So yeah. uh, we're going to go ahead and move on now to the two. Or the one, I thought there was two game changer packs. Damn, they only gave you one. All right, well, one game changer pack. I have not had really any luck in these game changer packs all year. So let's see what happens here. Jack Muhort. We got Michael Vick. Carson Palmer, Ryan Schrader, come on EA, Derek Carrier, Malik Jackson, Dante Fowler again, Benjamin Watson, a gold badge, what else is going to be in here, Dominic Rogers, Camardi, and a Derek Henry, so that's pretty cool to see, I guess. Uh, your Javon Curse, you going to be in the Ultimate Legend pack? Maybe. Just waiting. Damn, that base gold Derek Henry ain't too bad. Yeah, Texas boy is playing with him a lot, and he's pretty good. I see, nice I'm combined with power and speed. But we do have the ultimate legend pack. And then we're going to get into the stuff where we really can't pull curse. But just some nice stuff just to see what we can get there. Uh, but the ultimate legend pack. I don't even know what's in here. I have not opened these ever. So we're going to get... Okay. Start off with a Brandon Graham. What do these guarantee? Uh, Just like one ultimate legend item. Okay. That's going to be crazy. It, it, I mean, it, it, it could be a badge too. So It's probably going to be a badge, guys. But let's see. Brandon Graham is the one elite that we got in the pack so far. Derek Brooks, 81. That scared the Jeez. hell out of me. So 81 overall, Derek Brooks. I think that might be the speed edition, and it is 97 speed, 98 acceleration, uh, 74 tackle. I don't know if anyone would use that for anything in, like, a uh, salary cap scenario, so I'm not sure what that's going to be going for. But let's go ahead and move right on. We got Leonard Williams. We got a Derek Newton. <laughs> Every elite is scaring me right now, guys. Derek Newton, Paris Harrelson, we got the Cowboys Offensive Playbooks, Antonio Holmes, Bruce Arians, Elvis Dumerville, and a Seahawks home uniform. So unfortunately, we're not going to get anything too crazy, but I want to let you guys know that I am very close, like I said, to finishing my journey, so you'll be seeing those very, very soon. Maybe tomorrow, I'm not sure if I can grind out that many games tonight. Uh, and then, of course, the Cavs game is tomorrow, so we'll see what happens, but I should have it very soon. But now the question is, what do we go for here? What's the worst pack here? The worst, well, the worst pack is probably the Campus Hero Elite pack. All right. Because that, that doesn't guarantee a legend, so. All right, let's go ahead and just, let's go ahead and open it. Let's see what we get here. So we're going to get a Brandon Spikes 88 overall. Like I said, I don't even know what this really guarantees. I guess it's just a random... Campus, Campus Hero Elite, Hero. so I mean, yeah. that's not too bad, but I don't really know the prices of these cards, so that's that. Uh, I guess we'll go with the Super Bowl Legend Topper. Nice. Or is that good? I mean, it's pretty good. I'm the worst player you can get. It's, uh, the Giants receiver. Screw it. Picks. Let's go ahead and do it, guys. Here we go. Super Bowl Legend Topper. What is it going to be? It's going to be a Dante Whitner 95 overall. Um, again, not sure how good this card is. Has 99 hit power, 93 speed, seven or 84 zone, which is not too great for a 95 overall safety. But uh, Dante Whitner, more known for being kind of speedy and kind of a big hitter. So there's that card. I guess we're gonna go ahead and go with the throwback pack. Um, they've been adding new throwbacks and flashbacks. I'm sure for the last month and a half that I haven't been playing. So hopefully we get a new one of those. Opening up the throwback pack. Here we go, guys. What's it gonna be? It's gonna be a Jordy Nelson. So, uh, I guess it's kind of fitting since I'm on a, um, one of my buddy's accounts that has, you know, the Packers as his, you know, favorite team. So, that's pretty cool to see. I guess I'll leave this on here for him to play with. I'm leaving everything on here for him to play with. So, he'll kind of have a nice surprise when he wakes up or whenever the hell he gets on. So, flashback pack. Kind of hoping for something really good here, like an Andre Johnson type card. Something to go out with a bang. We're already at about 11 minutes in this video, maybe about 10 after editing. So let's see what we can get. You got any predictions? I don't know. Andre Johnson would be pretty nice to end the video. Andre Johnson, <sighs> you know, something nice. Here we go, guys. 
Three, two, one. Flashback pack. Do not give us someone garbage. And it's going to be Maurice Jones Drew 97 overall. Okay. So that's not too bad. I mean, it's a nice. 97 overall. Yeah. Not it's a bad my book. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely way better than getting, like, what? What's the worst one you can get? Like, Darnell Dockett? Or do they take that out? <laughs> I have no idea what they've taken out. Yeah, so, I mean, if, if if the options are Maurice Jones, Drew, or Darnell Dockett, I'm taking Maurice Jones, Drew all day. Right. Uh, <laughs> but like I said, guys, I will be opening up my journey very, very soon. My rewards. Uh, this is just part one. Opening up on my buddies. If you guys have pulled anything good, let me know down in the comments below. If you have pulled a Javon Curse, I would definitely like to know that because, again... It's not too often you see Titans Ultimate Legend cards. And it says he has one extra pack, but nothing is there. I'm not sure what that is. But I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys alone. Talk to you later. Give the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for new. Peace.